Uh, good morning, Chairman Walden, Chairman Burgess, and distinguished members. Thank you for inviting us here today. My name is Amy Darpino, and I just wanted to take a minute to talk to you about my son. So Emmett was my firstborn. He was the child that taught me how to be a mom. On April 20th, 2016, Emmett died of a heroin overdose. When Emmett was in high school, we learned that he had been experimenting with marijuana and with a synthetic substance called Spice or K2. We found out when he got caught at school with K2 in his bag. So we kind of circled the wagons and, and got Emmett involved in a 12-step program and some great recovery supports and thought that we were going to nip this in the bud and set him on the right path. Um, those first two years, or, or his last two years in high school I should say, the first two years that he was in recovery were amazing. He excelled academically, he excelled socially, he was inducted into the National Honor Society, met and fell in love with a wonderful girl and life was just really good while he was in recovery. Unfortunately, when he went off to college, those supports were no longer available to him, and he very quickly fell back into drug experimentation. We found out that very shortly after he started using drugs again, he was offered heroin at a party, and it was 18 months later that he passed away. I still carry around my phone that has a, a two-year-old voicemail on it. And that voicemail is from the hospital, telling us that we needed to call and that Emmett was in trouble. I knew immediately what had happened because I'd never received a call before. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to think that he was alone in a hospital room. To think that he was alone in that moment is devastating, devastating to me. We found out that he had been seen at the same hospital and revived with Narcan at least seven times over the previous year. That's seven missed opportunities to save this young man's life. And I needed to share with the world that he wasn't a junkie, an addict. He wasn't a bad kid. He was a good kid that had a disease. It's not the same with substance use disorder. It's hidden. Um, people are ashamed to talk about it. People are frightened of, of appearances and what people will think if they find out that their their loved one suffers from substance use disorder. And if we could get rid of that element and reduce that stigma, and we could all share experiences and share in what has worked and what hasn't worked and work towards effective treatment, we could make a huge difference.